Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to the Crochet Circle. Hi and welcome. In today's video I want to show you how to make a cardigan for your doll. Now, this pattern is something that I picked up on the internet, of course. Pinterest is the best thing to do those kind of stuff. Uh, I didn't find any small patterns that would kind of fit my doll, so I wanted something that I can adjust. Now, the best thing that I could do was uh, find some baby cardigans and then just adjust the number of stitches that I needed and this is then how I was able to make this small cardigan. Now I'm gonna explain to you how to perhaps do the numbers for your own size of a crochet hook and the uh, uh, thickness of your yarn or the size of your doll. So the doll is something that I already showed you how to make and now I'm just making all the clothes so it's playtime. Um, as you can see, a nice cardigan, uh, you can make it shorter, you can make it longer as a coat, you can leave it without the sleeves, it's up to you what you want to do. But yeah, first I want to show you how to kind of adjust the pattern and I want to show you the pictures where I got the idea for this pattern and let's get started. So I'm gonna leave this here. Now the main principle how I've done that was uh, I took my measurement tape and with my measurement tape I wanted to see how much uh, yeah what would be the top opening on the neck and then I counted the number of stitches. Now in my case because I'm gonna be using this really thin uh, acrylic yarn and a two millimeter crochet hook it kind of went out that i got 32 stitches for the length that i want on uh, the top where you can see over the shoulders so all together 32 stitches now what you have to do is kind of make it into six um, six parts so one third on each side is gonna be for the sleeves uh, one third is for the back and one third is the two front parts now I've already set up my um, pattern for this. So altogether 32 stitches. I have four corner stitches. So this is the front part. So this is the front part. This is the back side because it's all in one go. Now this is the part for the sleeves. Uh, the sleeves are worked few rows depending on how much you need uh, the sleeve to be wide. Uh, you have to work three, four, perhaps even five rows of increases. Now, the increases are all done in the... Let me just show you like this. The increases are all done in the corner stitches. In the corner stitch, so that means in one stitch uh, I do a half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet. And each upgrade... Yeah, well, each increase from the rows up is in the chain two space. Um, the patterns that I was looking for, they were using double crochet stitches and a much thicker yarn and needle. So that's crochet hook. <laughs> and that's why it was, uh, they were doing the stitches in double crochets. I was opting in for half double crochets because I want them just a little bit tinier and to do more rows, of course. But as you can see, that's the stitches for, for the increases. Um, and once you have enough of the length over your shoulder and um, when you come 
under your armpit for your doll of course uh, you then skip the middle part and you just crochet all the way along the front and the back side together. Now it may seem a bit complicated but I think the best way to do it is just to dive in and start crocheting. Now again this is for my doll and for my size of a crochet hook. If you will have a bit different numbers you can definitely then uh, alternate the pattern um, I am thinking to do to uh, show you into in another um, video tutorial how to adjust this pattern but for now a two millimeter crochet hook some yarn and the base is 32 stitches and let's begin Now the pattern calls for chain of 20, um, 32, <laughs> so I'm gonna begin. I'm gonna begin with the slip knot. That means yarn around my thumb. I kind of hold it between my middle finger and my ring finger. I go with my crochet hook from the bottom, grab the top yarn and pull it through. And this is a slip knot. Now I have to do chain of 32 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 2 3 24 5 6 27, 8, 9, 30, 31, and 32. Now that's my 32 chains. This is the top part if you're looking at it um, for the cardigan. Now I have to remember this last stitch that I've done because for the next row I have to do chain 2 to go up into the next row. And now I'm going to begin with four half double crochets. So that's a one in the next stitch. That's two, three, and four. Now the next stitch is the corner stitch. The corner stitch will always be made half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet in the same stitch. Now this is just in row number one. In all the rest of rows, as you can see, this corner stitch will be done in the chain two space. Now the next five stitches are gonna be five, the next five stitches are gonna be five half double crochets. So one, if you're wondering how to do a half double crochet, yarn once around the crochet hook, you go into the stitch, pull it through, you have three loops on your hook, and then just pull through all three of them. Now that's the second one, that's three, four, five, now again a corner stitch. In the same stitch I'm gonna do a half double crochet, chain two and another half double crochet. That is all in the same stitch. Now the next 10 stitches are half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 that is the back side of the cardigan now in the next stitch again a corner one so I'm gonna be doing a half double crochet chain 2 and another half double crochet all in the same stitch so I'm doing a half double crochet chain 2 and another half double crochet in the same stitch now I have to do five half double crochets that's a one two three four five uh, my yarn <laughs> is squeaking a bit um, now the next stitch is again a corner stitch so in one stitch I'm gonna do a half double crochet chain two and another half double crochet in the same stitch and I'm left with four more stitches in those four more stitches I'm gonna do four half double crochet so that's a one two three and four and a row number one is done you kind of see the shape now and all the rest of the rows are gonna be half double crochets on this side corner stitches are always gonna be half double crochet chain two half double crochet and the rest is again just half double crochets now chain two to go up into the next row and I'm gonna do five double five half double crochets so that's one two three four and five now I'm in the corner stitch as you can see there is a gap here so in that chain two space I'm gonna do a half double crochet chain two and another half double crochet now in the next seven stitches I'm gonna do seven half double crochets one two three, four, five, six, and seven. Now again I'm here at the corner stitch. Corner is in the chain two space. I'm doing a half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet in the same chain two space. Now on the back side, as you can see, this row it has one more stitch than the previous one, just because I'm using the, I'm also do, putting a stitch in the half double crochet of the corner. So this time around, I'm gonna do twelve half double crochets. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Again, the corner. In the corner I'm gonna go in the chain 2 space I'm gonna do a half double crochet chain 2 and another half double crochet uh, perhaps you think I'm not doing the half double crochets because I'm kind of hiding uh, grabbing really fast the yarn but I am doing half double crochet so as you can see I always have yarn once around my crochet hook now I am 
here on the side where the sleeve is gonna be so this round uh, it has seven half double crochets So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Again, another corner stitch in the corner stitch. I'm going to do a half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet. Now at the end all I have to do is five double crochets, half double crochets. If I already said have a double crochet in, instead of the half double crochet always it's half double crochets. So that's two, three, Four, and the last one, five. Cardigan is slowly getting its shape, but it's only two rows done. Still need to do quite a few. So chain two to go up into the next row. And the next row has six half double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'm at the corner stitch again, a half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet. Now I'm at the sleeve part. The sleeve part has nine half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last one, nine. Now I'm here again in the corner stitch, half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet. Now the back side, the back side now has 14 half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13 and the last one 14 corner stitch in the corner stitch a half double crochet chain 2 and another half double crochet now the sleeve part that means 9 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last one is gonna be nine. Another corner stitch, a half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet. 
all in the chain two space of the previous row. Now all I have to do is six half double crochets. So that's a one, two, three, four, five, and six. The next row, chain two to go up into the next row, turning the work around. Now I have to do seven half double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. In the corner stitch, half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet. Now the sleeve here now in this row, I have to do 11 half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Corner stitch in the corner stitch, half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet. Now the back side, the back side is da, 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 one two three one two three sixteen uh, that's twelve ten twelve fourteen yeah now it's sixteen half double crochets so one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. That's sixteen half double crochets. Again, here I am in the corner stitch. In the corner stitch, I'm gonna do a half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet in the same space. Now to the sleeve. At the sleeve, I have to do 11 half double crochets this round. So that's a one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now it's the corner stitch, half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet. And the front part, the front part has seven half double crochets, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try it up on my doll. I'm gonna pull just a little bit more of a string and this is how it looks you kind of will get the idea of it it's gonna be much nicer once the sleeves will be done because then it won't pull so much 
but the general idea is one more row and then I'm gonna be making the bottom part and the sleeves now this is gonna be my one two three four fifth row and the fifth row is actually gonna be the last row of the top shoulder parts uh, everything is gonna be the same except in the corner I'm not gonna be doing uh, two chains I'm gonna be doing three half double crochets in the corner uh, two chains to go up into the next row now I have to do eight half double crochets so that's one two three four five six seven eight now I'm in the corner I'm gonna do three half double crochets in there so that's one two three now the next is the sleeve part here I will have to do 13 half double crochets so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen again uh, the last corner stitch actually the corner stitch of the last row uh, on top of it so I'm gonna do three half double crochets inside so that's three half double crochets done now I'm at the back side and the back side now has 18 half double crochets so that's a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17 and 18 now again corner stitch of the last row on top so that means I have to do one two three half double crochets inside now this is the sleeve part the sleeve part has 13 half double crochets and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen now again it's the corner of the last row that means I have to do three half double crochets inside in the chain two space of the previous row <laughs> and the last eight stitches so that's eight half double crochets one two three four five six seven and eight now this is the top part now done uh, how it looks I'm gonna put it just one more time on the doll just for you to see this is how it looks now in the next row what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna con I'm gonna be skipping the sleeve part out so I'm gonna be crocheting the front part then I'm gonna pinch it together skip 
the sleeve part and continue crocheting on the back. I'm going to do the same on the other side, pinch together, skip the sleeve part and continue again on the front. Now this row is still going to be done in half double crochets, but the next one I'm going to be doing in... Ouch! The next one I'm going to be doing in uh, double crochets because I just need the length of the cardigan. So let's start. Chain 2 to go up into the next row. And this row now has first 8 half double crochets. 9 half double crochet, so that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now I'm gonna skip. To, I'm gonna skip the sleeve part and I'm gonna start in the back side. I'm gonna start in the back side plus one stitch. So I'm gonna start here. And that means I have to do a half double crochet. And have in mind that you have to kind of have a bit more, um, a bit tighter because otherwise you're gonna have a huge gap in the in the armpits. So 20 half double crochets. So I have one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Now again I'm gonna skip the uh, the shoulder part and I have to do nine half double crochets in the front part and I'm gonna begin in the last stitch of the cluster of three so in the corner in the last third one I'm gonna start with one two three four five six seven eight and nine. Now that I have the openings for the arms, I'm gonna do one more row. This one more row is gonna be double crochets uh, and then I'm gonna show you how it will look on the doll. So because I'm gonna be doing double crochets now, I made um, three chains to go up into the next row and now I just have to do nine double crochets and then it's 20 double crochets and another nine double crochets. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, now I have to do 20 more. That's for the back side. So that's two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and another nine stitches from the front. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. I just want to go through two loops, and that's it. So from now on, all I'm going to be doing is twenty plus nine plus nine is thirty-eight stitches all around, left, right. Uh, if you want a vest, you can stop here because, as you can see, it can be a vest. It can also be like a small bolero uh, for your crocheted doll. But I'm going to do at least two, three more rows just to get some nice uh, length of it. So yeah, now the length of it, it's up to you. I'm going to do two more rows of 38 double crochets. Uh, also, if you're using different kind of yarn, I already explained in the beginning that you will perhaps have to alter this pattern just a bit. Uh, but for me, for this kind of crochet hook and for my doll, this, this works. Okay, 38 uh, double crochets. I'm not gonna count this time. I'm just gonna be doing the double crochets because I think you already saw me, heard me count all the stitches and all the rows for long enough. I'm gonna do that again once I'm gonna be doing the sleeves. But for now, these 38 stitches that I have to do I'm going to be doing them without counting out loud for you. Perhaps you will want to do just one more row or you will do more rows. Don't forget, there are timestamps uh, where you can just move forward or go back again. So if you want to know how to do the left sleeve of the crochet cardigan, you just click on the um, it should be like a panel, the time stamps on the bottom and you just click and it will move you uh, in the video to the, the timestamp where I begin either a sleeve or how I... Be you can also go back to the start and you can double check how I've done the first row because it is just a little bit trickier to do the first row because you have to really pay attention when you're doing those corner stitches. Uh, other than that, I think you see it's pretty easy. The pattern, each row you just have one, two, uh, one, two, three, four corners and in each corner you do an increase and you do that until the desired length or until your shoulders, your cardigan actually covers the shoulders of your doll. I'm gonna do just one more row now. So that's one, two, three chains, and now I have to do 38 double crochets. Now, if you want, you can also make it with a pattern. 
um, what kind of a pattern you can do is you can do this shell stitch but I want just a plain cardigan perhaps with time I will do another video tutorial on how to um, make it with a pattern but for now let's stick to the basics again I hope you see I'm doing double crochets even though when I'm grabbing my yarn I cover it with my thumb because I don't want to lose it it may it may seem really fast for you but I've seen some crocheters who crochet really fast so uh, I'm not on that side at least not yet Uh, that's halfway, let's say halfway done. Mm, there was apparently a knot here. I'm gonna just work it in. And if it's gonna be any loose ends, I'm gonna just trim it with my scissors at the end. I still cannot believe what kind of a sound my crochet hook makes while using this uh, acrylic yarn. I'm definitely not used to it, at least not that obvious. Just a few more stitches. And the last stitch and that's it I'm gonna do a chain one leave a bit of a tail cut the yarn and pull it through now at the end I still have here my needle I'm gonna work it in okay so now the vest part is done it was a bolero before, now it's a vest. Now all I have to do is the sleeves. Now the sleeves are gonna be done in the stitches between yeah, well, in between the two corner stitches. Uh, I am gonna start, I hope you can see it, in the next stitch from where the <laughs> where the tw 20th uh, stitch of the base back ended. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do Actually, I can do a standing double crochet. Um, I put my yarn around my crochet hook. I go in and I just do normally a double crochet. Now here I have two stitches from the corner plus 13 so that's uh, 13 15 17 stitches it should be 17 double crochets all around I have a one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14 15 16 now this is the last one before I was continuing at the with the front so that was 17 stitches and now I just have to slip stitch it slip stitch join it with the first standing double crochet I want to go through the stitch and grab actually two loops Now I'm joining it with the slip stitch. Okay, now you can make it short sleeved, long sleeved, uh, extra long sleeved in the middle. I'm gonna be doing, uh, I'm gonna actually see how long I want it to be. But all I know is I have 17 stitches around and I have to do 17 stitches all around. Now, if you want your sleeve to go at the end of the arm a bit um, together, then you just perhaps skip or join two double crochet stitches into one. You do a decrease, but for now I'm just going to be doing 17 double crochet stitches all the way around. So that's a one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, and join it with the first stitch. Now I'm gonna pull the yarn just a bit through because I want to show you how it looks. Now on this side I didn't do the I didn't do it yet but this is my sleeve. I think two more rows and the sleeve should be done. So that is the left one. <laughs> Uh, if you're worried about the gap between, you see starting tail, you can just sew it together. Okay, so chain 3 and now 17 double crochets. I'm not going to count out loud because it is just 17 double crochets all the way around. Another row of 
17 double crochet stitches I will do one more row, but this row is gonna be done with single crochet stitches just to have a nice edge at the end. So chain one and now 17 single crochets. That's 17. I'm gonna leave a bit of a tail and I'm gonna do an invisible join. So I'm pulling the yarn through, I'm grabbing my needle. Hope my crochet hook won't run away from me. I'm not going into the first stitch, I'm gonna go into the second stitch because I'm overlapping the first stitch. And then back from where I came from. Now I'm gonna go a bit into the work. So this is the back side. I'm working the end tail in and what I also want to do is I want to go into the armpits section because I'm just gonna be doing a stitch there to close up the gap. Now the gap is closed, I'm gonna make a small knot because I don't want the things to move too much. And work just a little bit the tail in again. Perfect. Is it gonna stay? <laughs> and I can also get rid of the starting tail. I still need to work these two in. So now let's go for the other sleeve. So 
so I'm going into the next stitch so that was a nine and I'm going into the next one now I already showed you how to do it with the standing double crochet but what you can also do is just go in and do a chain three so that's one two three and I'm gonna do another double crochet in the same stitch because that chain three mm, will not count as a stitch so 17 double crochets now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and seventeen as you can see the next stitch is already taken from the back side now all I have to do is join it together but not in the chain three but on top of the double crochet stitch chain three and 17 double crochets all the way around now again I'm not gonna count because I think again or still you you've heard me count enough now depending on the sleeve size that you have or the sl yeah sleeve size sleeve sleeve length uh, do as many rows that you want perhaps you want to have a short sleeve jacket or without the sleeve it would be a bolero or this cardigan with long sleeves so the choice is yours I also mentioned if you want your cardigan sleeve to have a bit more definition you can then um, in the last few rows uh, last row or two you can do a decrease uh, and I'm gonna actually count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Perfect. Now I need to do two more rows of double crochets and then the last row is going to be a row of single crochets just to give it the edge a bit of the definition. joining it together another row of 17 double crochets
uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is now the last row. I'm joining it together, chain one, and now 17 single crochets all the way around just to make the edge. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen leaving a bit shorter tail because this time I'm gonna be uh, fixing the armpit hole with the starting tail and I'm gonna hide the end tail uh, on top in the edge. I'm not going into the first stitch, I'm gonna go into the second stitch. I know it's not the best color to, to show you but I'm overlapping the first stitch. Now I'm gonna go into the back side. I'm gonna make a really small knot here. And I'm gonna hide the end tail into the edge. I'm just gonna go in. And then in more. Okay, so that's it. All I have to do now is fix the armpit hole. As you can see, two stitches and it's enough. Again, a small knot to hold it in place and now I have to hide the end tail in. And I have to hide in the starting tail of the main uh, part now the best way to do this is on the back side you just go through the stitches And do the same with the starting tail. And that's it. I'm getting rid of all the loose ends. So this was the video tutorial on how to make a cardigan for a crochet doll. It can be also any other doll, it doesn't have to be a crochet doll. Um, as you saw, the pattern was really easy. 
I did explain in the beginning how you can adjust it just a little bit. I'm gonna just dress the doll up again. Of course, you can put uh, buttons. You can put some buttons here or just some um, nice strings to attach it. But yeah, crocheted cardigan for a small doll. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. If there were some unclear things, uh, let me know in the comment bo belo box below. And yeah, until the next time, I'm gonna say happy crafting! <laughs>